What is up guys, it's Chief Jamie or the Fair Potato here and today we're back with another guide video. So my last video we did um, a review slash uh, overview of uh, Overwolf. So it basically a thing that helps you on your games. Um, so like in-game CSGO, in-game league, and it will just help you a lot uh, while you're playing. It gives you extra stats and stuff like that. In this video I'm going to be going over a few programs actually, or maybe just one, but a few strategies to help you speed up your computer. Because I know that's a big issue actually in most people. Because if you're just a casual gamer, but you actually want to do good, um, and you don't want to spend like, or you don't have that much money to spend on a good computer or something like that, here's some strategies to make your own computer, you know, a bit faster, um, if not a lot faster. So, the first strategy is the percent ten percent strategy. What you want to do is click the Windows key and R at the same time. That'll open up the run page. So it should look like this. And then type in percent temp percent. And then click enter. And what these files are basically, you'll probably have a lot more than me, but what these files basically are is just um, temporary files, like the name says temp. And so you can delete them and it, it will do nothing to your computer. Uh, other than free up space, but it won't like delete any passwords or anything like that because it's just the temporary files that basically it's like the recycling bin basically. It's just those stuff that th the excess stuff, you know what I mean, the trash stuff. So you're gonna have a lot more than me definitely because I just cleaned this out uh, before this video, so I probably should have saved it for the video. But anyways, what you want to do is highlight everything that inside of this folder and click because. If you can't delete them, it'll stop you, and all you do is just click cancel. So, as of right now, your computer should already be that much faster. Um, might not seem like a lot, but most people have a lot of files in that um, temporary folder, and they actually never knew about it, and they never delete it. So, yeah, I do this, um, I do all these strategies probably, if I can remember to, I would say do it every time you log on and start. And if you're going to start playing a game, because it will help you a lot to reduce the lag. So after you delete those, just exit out. And the next strategy is actually going to be a software. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. I know I forgot last time, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember this time. So this is called CCleaner. So as you can see, I already have it downloaded here. But um, yeah, let me go over the website first. So you can you know you can explore their website just see you know see what see what they're about and stuff like that. But the part where I want to show you guys is here. So there's actually three options: CCleaner Free, CCleaner Professional, CCleaner Professional Plus. The purpose of this video is to help you make your computer faster without having to spend any money or buy a new computer. You know what I mean? So basically, we're obviously going with this, and actually the performance is the same as these other two professional and professional plus it's just these have like real-time monitoring scheduled cleaning and honestly we don't need scheduled cleaning or anything like that because we can just manually open it up and do it so you know I wouldn't pay $25 uh, if I were you just for a few extra uh, nifty stuff but um oops I opened CSGO gotta close that but yeah but I wouldn't do that if I were you because it it costs like you know twenty five dollars. I mean, who wants to spend that money? And my computer is pretty slow, but okay. Yeah, we're back here. Okay, so basically, I wouldn't spend this money or this money. Definitely not this money. So just go with the free version. It's just as good, honestly. So click the free download. And it'll take you to this new page over here, and then just click download on the. Make sure it's on the free. Um, thing and see like this automatic updating. It's just manual. I mean, don't be lazy. Just do it. You know. So and it's really not that hard. All you do is just click a button. So it's honestly not even manual because they actually do everything for you. So just click download, and then it should start to download like down here somewhere. Uh, just wait for it to pop up. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it. But yeah, it should see like this. So I'm just going to click cancel and uh, exit that. So after you finish downloading that, you should have a little icon down here um, and stuff like that. And just launch CCleaner. So I'm gonna launch that. 
and you should be brought to this page right here. And what's pretty cool about CCleaner is they actually have your computer statistics up at the top tab. So this is like Windows 10, 64 bit, and Intel Core i5, and all that good stuff, and stuff like that. So the first thing I want to go over in this um, uh, program is the registry section. So you're going to be right here when you open it. Just click on registry and click. I just did this, so there's not going to be anything. But click uh, scan. So scan for issues right here. Wait for it to scan. It might take a bit longer than mine because I, like I said, I just did this. So there's probably not going to be any problems or any like files that I need to delete. But it'll just go through your computer scanning. Scanning files, scanning files you don't need, um, you know, stuff like that, kind of like the percent, 10%. So, like, as you can see here, it says no issues were found. And then if it says that, you're good to go. But for most people, if they didn't do this before, it'll say, you know, some issues found or something. It'll list the issues. Just click fix selected issues and just fix it. And then it'll say, you know, issues were fixed. And then you're good to go. The next thing I want to show you guys is cleaner. Again, I did do this earlier, so probably won't have much but um, this is a bit more complicated than the registry and oh yeah I, I want to tell you guys about these check marks don't uncheck or check anything that's not already been like that so like don't check this or something like that so just leave them leave them blank if they're already blank and leave them checked if they're already checked um, because then you might delete some files that you don't want to delete or you might you know uh, forget about some files that are still inside your computer, uh, taking up space. So for this one, just click Run Cleaner. It's pretty self-explanatory. It, it's just going to warn you again. Just click OK, and it'll scan it. Um, again, it's probably going to take longer than mine because I already finished uh, cleaning it out before this video. But this is basically the point of this software and the percent ten percent strategy. It basically just clears up a lot of space. Uh, for for more stuff and a good analogy for me is like is like when you're um, Like running or something and you have a lot more stuff to carry it's going to be slower, right? But if you have a lot less stuff to carry then you're going to run a lot faster. So I, I kind of like the analogy um, Compared to like the game like if you have a lot more files It's probably going to be slower because it has to keep like looking at those files keep you know Quotation mark carrying those files. So if you guys know what I mean so it should remove some files and it'll just say cleaning complete complete uh, 8.8 .8 megabytes uh, removed so yeah this thing is actually pretty useful uh, I I try to do it every single time I log on but after you did the registry and the cleaner you should be good so the last thing I want to actually go over and improve your uh, computer um, status like uh, space is actually just lowering your settings in game like I know people don't like to do that but that's um what's it called that's one of the best ways honestly to to reduce lag so you don't have to lower it all the way obviously but you know maybe lower it a bit if your computer can't really can't handle it but if you don't if you do those two strategies that I told you see cleaner let me exit this C cleaner and uh, percent ten percent. Your computer should be so much faster already. So tell me, tell me if you guys thought this video was useful in the comment section below, and tell me if um, you know it works for you guys. I want to hear about that. Um, and I'll probably be making another one of these how to like make your computer faster videos because I know a lot of people want to know how, and uh, I'll try to get those uh, videos out for you guys. So this is uh, probably this one of the starting days of winter break. So I'll, I'll probably be uploading a lot more in this in these two weeks of winter break. But yeah, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.